Hi guys, so let's just get straight into it. These are the five lessons I've learned as a entrepreneur. And I've been an entrepreneur for about six plus years now, so it's been a long time. And I wanna just talk through five of the things that I think are gonna be really helpful for you, for those who are entrepreneurs or those who are thinking about becoming entrepreneurs and business owners. It's just an insight into what it entails, the ups and downs and so on. So lesson number one that I've learned is that things can take time. Don't compare yourself to others your journey is your journey and this is something i tell all of my mentees and people that are part of the boss up group is just the fact that some people get discouraged when they start and they see that other businesses are doing better than them faster than them but you really just have to focus on yourself because everybody's journey is different you don't know what is happening behind the scenes as to why it seems like they're doing better than you it could be just a front on social media because a lot of businesses do, do do that in order to attract more sales they make it look like they've had big busy months in sales some people really do forge their shopify results and stuff like that's a real thing you just can't take everything as real a lot of this stuff is fake so you, it's better for you to just stay in your own lane and focus on your own journey now also i'd say that a lot of people that you see that might be growing faster than you may have a whole team behind the scenes they may have had a nine to five job that was within that sector they may have financial help behind the scenes you just don't know the situation so it's best to just focus on yourself focus on what you can do focus on your growth and your journey and just let things flow as they should flow i figured out as the years go by that my journey is different to other people's for a purpose there is a purpose behind this and i feel like my purpose for my slower growth in business is so that I can share with other people and make them feel encouraged and that they can relate to me because if I was just to blow up overnight people aren't going to relate to me and they're not going to feel like they can do it too whereas a lot of you guys say to me when you look at me and my journey you feel like you can do it too and that is my goal. The so lesson number two is the importance of money management. <laughs> Maybe make sure you are looking after your money and learn the lesson that not all opportunities are good opportunities. I have learned that lesson this past year and throughout my business journey, especially in the beginning, I was not good at money management at all, which is why I always recommend the book Profit First. It's a really good book for just how to manage your business money because you may be good at managing your personal income and your personal budget, but managing a business's finances is completely different. So you definitely want to learn the ins and outs about business finances. And that's where I went wrong I sometimes would treat the business money as if it's my money and that's just a big no-no learning that not all opportunities are good opportunities is super true I'll give you an example for me with Black Friday as I mentioned before in a past video that I had planned ahead thinking that Black Friday was going to be amazing for me because the year before was amazing and I thought we'd do even better so I had really not budgeted well i was like i'm gonna take a risk i'm gonna invest more money into influencers which i wouldn't have done before i'm gonna invest into a new photo shoot new pictures for the website and so on so i paid a lot of money out that didn't get returned back to me so we're in mid-january and i'm still catching up with things so it's been a very rocky start to the year i realized that all the things that i go through are good lessons to share with you guys so that is my number two lesson but it's probably one of the most important lessons that i'm gonna share with you guys is just the fact that not all opportunities are good opportunities and it's you and it's your responsibility to really figure out what you should take a risk on and what you shouldn't and just what you can afford when it comes to spending money on your business what can you afford to lose if you can't afford to lose something i wouldn't take that risk so always make sure you have some kind of emergency fund for your business as well which again i know about having an emergency fund for my personal self but i didn't know about having an emergency fund for my business so definitely get an account like Starlin. I love Starlin. Even that West do this as well, but they have like spaces so you can put money into different pots within your account and it just saves it aside and away from your main balance so that you don't spend that money. And that's really helped me within the past year. 
Lesson number three is the importance of social media and sharing with others. In the beginning of my business journey, I did not want to show my face. I did not want to share that I was the founder of Oh So Curly. But a few years in, I realized that it really helped my business grow. When people started to see that I was the face behind the business, they wanted to learn more. They wanted to support more. They wanted to see how I did it. And then I shared on YouTube and you guys really, really enjoyed the behind the scenes content. In turn, it creates new followers, it creates new potential customers and new supporters and people who will just engage in your content and then other people that may want to buy from you will see the engagement and know that you are trustworthy and so on. It just snow it's a snowball effect. So I would really, really, really recommend any new entrepreneur, new business owner watching this, get a hand on social media. Even if you just start with one, keep to that one, build on that one be consistent with that one avenue and then you can branch into the others for example we've been dedicated to instagram for years since the beginning that was the first social channel we went on instagram we've dominated that for the whole years and now we're slowly moving into tiktok once you've been consistent and you've grown an audience on one platform then go ahead and try another platform lesson number four is that you have to be constantly learning you can't be stagnant when it comes to growing a business if you want to grow the business you have to grow as a person and you have to grow in your self-development and so on so i like to listen to a lot of business based podcasts, watch a lot of business interviews, interviews with entrepreneurs, people that are within the field that I am interested in going down, people who are successful and are within the same niche as me. I like to learn from them, I like to see their mistakes. As you're watching this video, you probably want to learn where I went wrong and where you can avoid going wrong. Every new stage of business requires new knowledge. For example, I'm in the stage of looking at fulfillment. So I need to learn about what a good fulfillment company is, how much it's gonna cost and so on. I have to do research into that. I can't just go in blindly because it's gonna hurt my business. One thing I will also say is just to like read, read, read. Even audiobooks if you can't. Reading books has really helped me to develop over the past few years. Four hour work week I recently read, that was really good. And Brian Tracy, any of his videos, I'm gonna link one down below. I watched one the other day. It was something about millionaire mindset or something like that. It was so good. It was just like a seminar of him speaking, a whole presentation. Well, he didn't even stop, which I thought was like, wow, you actually memorized the whole one hour speech. He is amazing, I love Brian Tracy. Really good for those who are in sales. Now lesson number five is the most important lesson which I have learned the hard way, which is why I left it till last, the importance of taking breaks. As you guys know, I'm pretty much notorious for not taking breaks. I've like gone full speed from the beginning of my business till about last year. From December to now, we're like mid January. I've really taken a break from the business. I've hardly posted on social media, I've hardly created content, hardly sent out any orders, and it is doing me well. It's been difficult at times. It's been very up and down. At points I feel like, is this what I actually wanna do? And then at points I get like a burst of inspiration and it's like, yes, I can't wait to get Get back to it taking a break is needed for your mental health and for your business because if you are constantly running 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 you won't see the opportunities that are outside of the box you won't think outside of the box but once you take a break you're able to see things clearly so i recommend at least taking frequent breaks imagine if you were working a nine to five you'd be having holidays whereas especially with the situation we're in now for me, I don't want to take the risk of traveling, so it's like I haven't been having holidays because I can't go anywhere physically. I've realized that I kind of outworked myself last year, the past two years, so I'm making up for it now, but I found that the break has been very beneficial and I have learnt that I will continue to put breaks into my schedule. Another way to do this is to really look back at your business growth and look at when your quiet months are and when your busy months are. January, February, it's usually quite quiet and it picks up more in the spring and summer. And then again, it will pick up when it is obviously November, December, Christmas period. I can always look at that and then think, okay, January, I can afford to take a break because it's kind of quiet. I don't have to push as much as I do in the busier months. So definitely keep that in mind and schedule in some breaks. 
So those are just five lessons that I've learned as a entrepreneur. If you want me to dive deeper into any of the five that I mentioned, please let me know down below and I am happy to do a full video in more explanation, maybe like a story time of what I've learned and how I learned the hard way. If you watched this video and liked it, please tap the like button, subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.